In October, the month before the election, when the unemployment rate dropped a couple of tenths of percent, uh, the former head of GE, Jack Welch, tweeted that the data was made up. Quote, unbelievable jobs numbers. These Chicago guys will do anything. Can't debate, so change numbers. Jack Welch started it, and then it became a thing on the right. The unemployment rate is made up. The economics data that Obama is peddling is just phony. Uh, you start with the unemployment rate. So are they playing around wow. with the numbers? Look, it's the Bureau of Labor Statistics. It's supposed to be nonpartisan, but that's the Department of Labor, Hilda Solis. Heads of the Department of Labor, Hilda Solis, works directly for Obama. I'm, you know. Are you saying they're cooking well, the books? I, I, are you saying they're cooking the... You are saying that, aren't you? The president faked the unemployment rate. He made it up. Also, the president is bulldozing President Reagan's childhood home. <laughs> This is one wall that probably shouldn't be torn down. This apartment building used to be the home of a young Ronald Reagan. It was denied landmark status, and the University of Chicago is ready to demolish it. The university, which has close ties to the Obamas, is also trying to become the site of President Obama's presidential library. That's drawing strong concerns. The university might turn President Reagan's former house into a parking lot for an Obama library. And then President Obama's going to exhume Ronald Reagan, and then he's going to... It's not true. But it sounds terrible, doesn't it? It's very exciting in a bad way to think President Obama is personally going to be bulldozing something related to Ronald Reagan, even if he isn't. Oh, and do you remember Ringgate at WorldNet Daily, where Rick Santorum works now? President Obama's supposed wedding ring is actually a secret I am a Muslim ring. Quote, the ring Obama has been wearing for more than 30 years is adorned with the first part of the Islamic Declaration of Faith. Oh, wait, 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 that's not it. No, wait, did I say the ring proves he's secretly Muslim? No, I meant gay. It secretly proves he's gay. It is a wedding ring, but it's a gay wedding ring. So you could see why I'd be confused. This is also World Net Daily. It's about the same ring, but it's a whole different conspiracy theory about how he's gay. So the ring shows he was gay married. That's all World Net Daily. Over at Breitbart, uh, they have been very upset about this picture of the president throwing a football. Uh, in that corner of the right-wing media, President Obama was not actually throwing a photo, uh, a, fo a football in this photo. Uh, you see, you can tell because he's looking slightly up there. That's just inexplicable. Why would you do such a thing? Clearly, it's doctored. There's no way in football you always look, you know, down or to the side, unless you're a secretly gay married Muslim bulldozing Reagan. Now, the latest one uh, is this. According to the right, this is not really a picture of the president shooting a gun. Yes, when the New Republic in a recent interview asked the president if he had ever shot a gun, he said yes. He has been skeet shooting at Camp David. The White House supported the claim by tweeting out this picture of the president shooting skeet. And that's when the cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right wing fired up the conspiracy machine. According to them, this isn't really a picture of the president shooting a gun. See, they can tell because the president is shooting with the gun sort of too flat. He's too straight. See, now he's too straight. Uh, then there's the errant smoke where it shouldn't be. Also, his stance. Bad form. Can't be real. Also, a little pot belly. No, I'm not kidding. That actually really was part of the argument against the veracity of this picture. You can see his tummy. Clearly a conspiracy. In the real world, a tummy means you maybe had a jelly donut. But in the world where Obama invents jobs numbers, tears down the home of Ronald Reagan, wears a Muslim ring, I mean a gay ring, and doesn't really play football, he just looks like he is, well then him having a little poochy belly means that the vast left-wing conspiracy is photoshopping political capital for gun control. You know how we do.